Well, you know, back in 1890, long time ago, uh, Mr. John Bass, the builder of this beautiful home, opened his home, this home, to 500 guests for Christmas. And we like to carry that through. He was a very community-minded man. When the Sisters of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration purchased this home in 1944, this was the first college. They are very commun community-minded as well, and we want our members to see the beautiful gem that is here in Fort Wayne. The woodwork is amazing. A lot of the furniture is original to the home. We have designers come in. We start working with them in early summer. So when you see the placards in some of the rooms, that means a designer from the community came in and shared their time and talents with us. On the third floor, we lovingly have what we call the Battle of the Bishops. We're a Catholic Franciscan University, and we like to partner with our fellow Catholic institutions. We have Bishop Lures Catholic High School upstairs, and Bishop Dwinger Catholic High School on the third floor. And they're kind of in friendly competition to see who can win uh, the number one decorator. Well, a lot of times people will drive by and they'll say, you know, I've lived in Fort Wayne all my life, and I never knew what was inside this building. And so that is, that's a special treat for us, when they get to come in and then they come back year after year with children, grandchildren, family and friends to share. And this is how they kick off the Christmas season. I wish I could have met Mr. Bass. From what I've read about him, he was deeply committed to those that he worked with, his family. He took excellent care of his employees at the foundry and in the community, so much so that meals were provided to them, um, special attention was paid to families um, if they needed a little extra boost. I want to think that he would be very pleased to see his home that he made for his family being cared for in such a special way.